The idea that our blood flows through our veins and our arteries in a closed loop system is completely normal to us today. But in the 17th century, this discovery was truly revolutionary and it was one that would change the face of medicine forever. We're here today at the Old Operating Theatre in London and it's really appropriate that we're in this room right now because we are looking at some of the most important books from the history of medicine and surgery. This book, William Harvey's De Mortu Cordis, is the first description in human history of how the blood circulatory system in humans actually works. William Harvey was a doctor, a physician, an anatomist. Born in the late 16th century, he went to school in Canterbury, he went to Cambridge University to study medicine, and then he went to the University of Padua in, in Italy. And this was like the home of European anatomy. He studied in Padua under the tutelage of Hieronymus Fabricius, one of the great anatomists. Fabricius had shown that our veins on the inside of the tube contain little valves, but he didn't really know why. What William Harvey discovered is that our blood circulation system is a circuit. It's a closed loop in which blood is pumped from the heart to the lungs and then back to the heart where it gets pumped out via the aorta into the arterial system where it gets pumped around the body, used as a supplier of oxygen for our muscles and our tissues. And then it goes back through the venous system, through our veins, where they have those little valves that, that he described to stop the blood flowing in the wrong direction. And then it goes back into the heart and the system starts again. Until this point, people had all sorts of ideas about what the blood was doing, how it was made, with the liver converting food into blood, how it was being used up as fuel in our muscles, how it was conveying some sort of vital energy in us none of which is, is true. William Harvey worked this out through doing anatomy, through looking at the structure of veins, through looking at the structure of the heart, and he is rightly regarded as a really important figurehead in the history of, of medicine as a result of this book right here. I've read about this book, I've written about this book for, for years, never actually seen a copy of it. So this is open on the, the only illustration in the book which shows the forearm of, of a man gripping so you can see the pattern of the arteries. It, it's difficult to actually conceive that these images are from 1628. They are very vibrant, they're incredibly crisp. It is truly one of the rarest and most precious items in the history of medicine. Aside from the Harvey in this collection, we've also got the birth of individual areas of medicine, every single one of which has had a profound effect on human health and the basis of treatments that we still use to this day. So we're looking at the birth of modern science, modern medicine, right in front of us. It's an incredible collection.